Assalamu alaikum, my beloved sisters and brothers. Welcome back to another video. So Ramadan is usually a time many of us decide to reconnect with the Quran. We set goals on how much we want to read and we track our progress through the month and so on. So today let's talk about some ways to help us benefit from reciting the Quran and achieving our goals, inshallah. So the first important thing is to set a time. Pick a time that you know you are free and you're not going to get interrupted. This could be after Fajr prayer, for example, or it could be at night after Taraweeh prayer, or it could be after Suhoor. You know your schedule and you know the best time that you can stick to, that you're free and you're not going to get interrupted during that time. And that mobile phone, keep it away. So once you have that time set, and even if it's just five minutes a day, for example, at least it's something. And as you keep up with it, today five minutes, the next day five minutes, the next day five minutes, you will end up in a day where you suddenly look at the time and you say, oh wow, 30 minutes passed, where did that go? You will develop this love and yearning to recite the Quran, inshallah, and you'll reach a point where, inshallah, you won't need to even set a time, inshallah. The second thing is to find a peaceful spot. So find a nice, calm spot that you can recite Quran in. Again, a spot where no one's going to come in and interrupt you or anything. That's your area. That's your spot. You feel calm in it. You feel comfortable in it. And use that spot as your recitation uh, spot. And that mobile phone, keep it away. Saying it again for emphasis. The third thing is recite it out loud. So don't just scan the pages and read it in your heart. No, recite it out loud so that you hear it. Let that be all that you hear. Let yourself be immersed in it. So recite it out loud. And the last important point, quality, not quantity. Usually Ramadan comes and we have a goal. We say we want to finish the Quran one time or two times or three times. And that's totally fine. It's good to have a goal. But you don't want that to be your main focus. Because what happens when that's your main focus, you open up the Quran and you recite, you recite, recite to finish. You just want to finish it, finish it, finish it. You don't recite to understand and to contemplate, which is very important. Understanding, reflection, depth, meaning, purpose, all important things. Remember that the Prophet وسلم, didn't have the entire Quran dropped down on him in one sitting, not even over 30 days. How long did it take for the Qur'an to come down? It took a period of 23 years. 23 years it took. Why? It was verses here, verses there, verses here. Why? It was quality, not quantity. He needed time to understand it, to contemplate it, to reflect on it, to benefit from its meaning, as did the people around him. So it needed time to simmer and settle. So why then do we race to finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it? We should also race to understand it, to really benefit from its meaning. What do you think you would benefit more from? If you finished the Qur'an three times in Ramadan but didn't contemplate its meaning at all or didn't feel any depth to it, or if you only reached perhaps halfway but you really contemplated its meaning, you really felt a depth to it, you felt a change in you, maybe you even shed a tear because one of the verses hit you here. Which one do you think you would benefit from more? Which one do you think would have a bigger impact? On you. So quality, not quantity. It's good to have a goal to read a certain amount, but also have a goal to understand and reflect on it. May Allah allow us to connect with the Quran and not just flip its pages. May we feel the depth of its meaning in our hearts. May we yearn to recite it. May we find the love to pick up the Quran, not just in Ramadan, but also outside of Ramadan, inshallah. Amin. Assalamu alaikum.